This is my 1979 Toyota Land Cruiser FJ55. I'm the second owner. The original owners were a couple out of California. In 1980, they flew to Portland where they purchased this Land Cruiser and took it on a road trip on the way home. They drove through Idaho and as they were driving through an area called McCall, they fell in love with the area and decided they want a vacation home there. So they eventually bought one and a few years later moved this uh, Land Cruiser to their second home. That's where it spent most of its life. The odometer on this stopped at 75,000 miles just before I bought it. Um, the owners insisted it had never flipped over 100. Of course, I can't prove that because the odometer stopped. Based on their use, where they kept it at the cabin and used it a few times a year, I know they had their neighbor start it up for them occasionally. But based on the way that they used it, I, I'm inclined to believe them. But of course, like I said, I can't prove it. These are the factory wheels, which I sent off to Stockton Wheel in California and had them widened to eight inches. All five wheels were widened and powder coated. And all five tires are BFG Mud Terrains, 33, 10 and a half size. I had some custom springs built at Alcan Spring to give it a three inch lift. I asked them to make it for a posh ride for pleasure cruising, which it is. I think it's great. I've got some Old Man Emu shocks on it, and then I've added airbags in the back. I took this on a couple of trips with my son once I restored it, uh, a couple camping trips. So um, added some airbags to the back so when I add camping gear I can inflate them a little bit if needed. But day to day, I just run them on the very minimum PSI. This Land Cruiser came from the factory with power steering and it had a, an air conditioning unit installed by the dealer back in 1979 or 1980. It also had a dealer installed Warren 8274 winch, which uh, I have modified to work with a factory OEM bumper. Ended up uh, building a custom bracket out of thick steel you can see there that mounts to the frame and is hidden beneath the stock bumper so that when you are winching it won't destroy the stock bumper because it's mounted very stoutly behind had some trail tailor frame extensions made to extend that winch out a little bit to give you a little more room behind the winch worked out great brand new turn signals with some 3D printed turn signal bases, painted, color matched. We've got brand new emblems, new mirrors from SLO Cruisers, new window felts, weather strips, new tailgate weather strips. Got an ARB rack designed for a 60 or 80 series Land Cruiser, but it fits the 55 perfectly. We have the factory rear bumper rehabilitated and uh, some rigid backup lights recessed in the bumper and a custom D-ring mount where a hitch might be. New emblems in the rear I bought before I even owned a 55. I just saw them for sale. Somebody in Australia was reproducing them and grabbed them hoping I'd own a 55 one day. On the tailgate, as I mentioned, brand new felts and window channels from SLO Cruisers. Previous owner, I think, was a little fastidious with his maintenance, so he had a stockpile of parts that he purchased way back when. He gave the remainder of what he had to me when I bought the vehicle. Had a carpet kit, which I assume came from Spectre Off-Road, but it's a good quality kit. It's got little metal pieces to retain the carpet on both sides. It's wired for a fridge, that's what that wire is. 
had a fridge slide in the back here. It's got a roll bar, which I also think came from Spectre Off-Road back in the 90s. Um, I had some rigid dome lights mounted to the roll bar and wiring fish down through the bar. Really brights up the interior at night. It's got an ARB air compressor under the hood for inflating and deflating the tires. Retro sound stereo system, which I'll show you later on the dash. Has four door speakers and then these six by nines in the cargo area. Six by nines are actually mounted to a steel uh, sheet metal plate, I guess I should say, underneath the cargo panel so that the weight of that speaker is on the metal, not the cargo panel masonite that often gets destroyed from speakers. Brand new door cards on all four doors from SMS Headliners. As I mentioned, new speakers, new window cranks. On the interior, I didn't want to go with the vinyl because it was hot. And found this material on a trip to Scotland. Thought it would be great in the old 55. So we've got cloth in the center with some marine grade vinyl around the perimeter. Very comfortable seats. Three seat belts in the rear. I believe stock was only two, but I added a third for kids. In the front, we've got a, a new dash cover for Inspector Off-Road, new glove box door, and instrument cluster surround. I've got the originals, but they were warped and baked from the sun. Removable center console, armrest. Headliner's in excellent shape. There is one spot right there where they've restitched it. But other than that, it, it looks in really good shape. On the driver's side, we've got the original steering wheel that's been leather wrapped. We've got a Switch Pro style uh, switch control panel there that controls the rigid 30 inch light bar on the front bumper. Backup lights on the rear bumper, air compressor under the hood, interior dome lights, and I've got some accessory USB chargers on the passenger side underneath the dash. Dash is clean and in good shape. New choke cable. Tailgate window goes up and down from the dash, does not from the cylinder. In the rear, I've tried fixing that. I think it needs a new cylinder, but I've, I've not been able to fix that. Rear heater works. Like I mentioned, air conditioning works, heater works. Retro sound stereo. There's an amp underneath the front seat that powers the four door speakers and the six by nines in the cargo area. Up here in the engine bay, got the ARB single compressor I mentioned previously. New battery, on the side of the battery is the wiring for that switch control panel in the cab. Uh, motor has all of the original smog equipment from the factory. The carburetor I just sent off to Mark's Off-Road in California had it rebuilt. It's running excellent right now. Just had the air conditioner recharged. It blows nice and cold. And I think that's about it. Pretty original motor and running excellent right now. Another view of the rear bumper. Tailgate. No rust really to speak of. You can see in the pictures on the listing, got tons of underneath pictures. It's a beautiful FJ55. I've really enjoyed owning it. If you have any questions, comment on the listing and I'll respond as soon as possible. Thanks. Mm -hmm.